meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. And golf holes should be that big on regulation golf courses. All right, let's go ahead and check out that forecast tonight. 64 at 7 o'clock. We are going to be looking at partly to mostly cloudy skies this evening. 58 at 9 p.m. down to 54 at 11 p.m. And then tomorrow morning looks like some showers could greet you for your morning commute. 47, 53 at noon, and 58 at 5 p.m. Uh, taking a look at the satellite view, you can see the clouds around. More clouds north of us. Uh, so we've been looking at that partly cloudy day, but these clouds to the north will continue to head south and southeastward tonight and we'll get back to those mostly cloudy conditions. Stay with that through the day tomorrow along with that chance of showers. So with a little more cloud cover around some rain too. We're expecting highs tomorrow into the mid and upper 50s across the region. But look at our temperature trend here. After that cool day Thursday, upper 60s Friday, 73 Saturday. Looks like 77 on Sunday. We might even reach our first 80 degree high of the year uh, coming up early next weekend to Monday and Tuesday. Clouds, as you can see, have been moving southward today. Uh, Partly to mostly cloudy sky now in our time lapse out in Beaver Creek. Still no precipitation showing up on live Doppler 2 HD, but up north we have been tracking some showers coming down across the state of Michigan, and some of those will be headed our way here for later tonight and into tomorrow. We hit a high today of 68, pretty close to our normal high of 67. 41 our low temperature this morning, a little bit below normal. A lot of the outlying areas in the 30s. John Kingmar, our weather checker up in Tip City, even down to 34 this morning with once again some scattered frost, but not as heavy as the morning before. And right now, seeing some of that cloud cover around, we're at 65, a north northwest wind at 8, with a relative humidity at 40 percent. 65 degrees in Springfield, a light northwest wind at 5 miles per hour and 63 degrees tonight in Eaton. Our weather checkers up north, Scott and Bradford there at 67 degrees. Uh, Vicki Sifke in New Carlisle, 66 degrees tonight. Barbara Richards in Kettering, looking at temperatures in the mid and upper 60s. And our future track forecast, well, we stay dry this evening, but it looks like later tonight. Tonight, especially past about two or three in the morning, the chance of some showers around. Also, a cold front will be swinging through. That front should be to the south of us as we head towards sunrise tomorrow morning, and that means we're back in the cooler air. Still could see some showers behind that front during the day, and maybe even some lingering showers into the evening. But after that, we'll see that improving weather pattern, which will carry those highs up into the 70s over the weekend. Our forecast tonight: clouds will be uh, increasing from where they are, partly to mostly cloudy conditions overnight. Late night chance for some showers. We drop down to 45. Mostly cloudy, cool tomorrow. Scattered showers with highs reaching the upper 50s. 50 at 10 o'clock, 53 degrees at noon, and a cool uh, afternoon as temperatures will be in the upper 50s. 56 at 7 o'clock with that chance of showers. But then we dry out. Morning lows in the 40s on Friday with a high of 68. And then check out Saturday into the low to mid 70s for a high. Upper 70s on Sunday. Just a slight chance of a late day shower. And and same situation on Monday, only slight chances of rain, but we'll be up around 80 on Monday, low 80s Tuesday, and then it looks like rain chances start to go up a little bit more later Tuesday and into Wednesday. So even though it'll be cool tomorrow, that's, that's going to be it for a while for the cool weather.